Now, Ryanair has called on the government to lift international travel restrictions in the country from the end of May for air travel to and from the UK and the European Union. The airline is also calling for an end to mandatory hotel quarantine, describing it as unique and failed. And for more on this, we're joined by Eddie Wilson, CEO of Ryanair. Um, Eddie, can we first of all ask, why the end of May? There's nothing open here at the end of May. We don't have outdoor dining. We don't have hotels. We don't have B&Bs. So why would you want people to be able to come to Ireland by the end of May when there's nothing for them to do and nowhere for them to go? Well, I mean, uh, Kira, like everybody isn't travelling just uh, necessarily for tourism at this time, but what you have is that you've got a lot of people who are discommoded for family reasons, for business reasons, etc. Everyone else, you've got to give a signpost for people uh, to say that we're open. Listen there to Paul Reid, like, you know, it's great for him uh, to be coming out and saying that the, the link is now broken between um, you know, due to vaccina- high vaccination levels and, you know, that link now has been broken in hospitalizations and mortality rates. And we've been calling for this and other airlines and airports for a long time to say give us a road map that's now broken say we're now going to be uh, we're now going to be open from a date certain and on mandatory hotel quarantine we're talking about it for the remaining two countries within the European Union it was lifted last week for um, Italy and Austria uh, but we still have the situation where um, you can't travel from France or you can't travel from Belgium so we need to lift that for the European Union and also for the common travel area give this um, uh, uh, industry a clear signpost to say uh, people can start booking again. Eddie, we, ha- we have some clear signposts though. Um, Stephen Donnelly has said that the digital green cert will be by the end of June and, and I've heard the date of the 21st of June being floated by uh, people within the EU. So so that's only, I suppose, just over a month no, away. Not. It's not really. I mean, like, what they can do is today is we've got the Taoiseach travelling uh, to the UK today. And presumably, he's not going to do a quarantine, home quarantine for 10 days when he comes back. Why can't everyone else do that? We've got an open yeah, that's border. That's a little trite. If, if the Taoiseach no, 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 has to travel, no, 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 if the sorry, has to, travel not, to checkers because is, of trouble in is, Northern Ireland, that's not the same sorry, as everyone going on holidays. But there's a, I'm sure there's a, but it's not all about holidays. I'm sure there's lots of people listening in this programme can see the inconsistency in that. That there are a lot of people who've got to do business, family reasons, etc., that we've got the one country, uh, not in the European Union, but in Europe, that's got the highest vaccination levels, and we still have an open border with them, and we need to regularise that, and we should do it now. And we've got the the Taoiseach going today, and he's not going to go into quarantine. It should be what's good for... That that is something now of a a red hair. Can I ask you a question? I am somebody... It's not trite. It's not trite at all. There are lots of people, for good reason, for family reasons, um, and we have seen this, for example, not necessarily with the UK, and if you talk, you've, you, um, we had the French ambassador on radio last week, we had the Italian ambassador on as well, saying there are lots of very, very acute situations for people to meet with families to go backwards and forwards from those countries. And Nonetheless. Uh, we, have, we, have the, we, have the, we have the government here that's imposing a mandatory Eddie, hotel Eddie, it's coming, it's on its way, countries. it's just a matter of when. But it's not. not. Let, me no, ask you, let today, me ask you, let me ask you a question people, about Ryanair there specifically. People, there, there are people who want to travel today to France and Belgium who cannot do that okay. because of mandatory let, hotel quarantine. Let me ask you a question effective. specifically about Ryanair. I am yep. one of the people, and I've said it many times here on News Talk Breakfast, it's almost a joke, who's dying to go away, okay? And I've been on your website and I've looked at flights Great. for summer holidays towards the end of the summer, you know, if I'm allowed. And I've done all that. But I can't find on the website anything that tells me what's going to happen. Should it be the case that I'm not allowed to travel because there's changes in COVID regulations or there's changes in restrictions? And I'm afraid to book because I don't want to lose my money if I'm not allowed allowed actually travel. What is the situation with people who want well, to book, who want to go on holidays but are afraid of losing their money should something change? Yeah, I mean, people who, who book up until the end of June can uh, can change their, they, they can uh, change their, their flights without any uh, penalty. So that's that's absolutely clear on the website and that's been the same not only for Ryanair but for most airlines. When, I, when, I, read, when we, I read the site, what it said to me was that if I wanted to change my flight I would be charged a minimum of 35 uh, euros no, per, per flight that I changed. Not. Per person? No, it's not. It's not. All bookings up until the end of June, you can make a free change. So if I go home this evening and book something for August, and I have Absolutely. to make a change, I'm 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 golden. You can you can change you can change that flight if the if the fair if, if I would be holding you to this, Eddie. If there's but like it's, it's, it's in the T's and C's. Well, you don't have to get me on the radio for it. It's on the website. None, nonetheless, last question for you. What is the likelihood, do you believe, that, that, that your pleas will, will be listened to? Because it, it, it appears to be quite clear, first of all, that the population is supportive of mandatory hotel quarantine, irrespective of the difficulties that it creates for those who wish to travel. But equally, 
that no one really has an expectation that we're going anywhere until sort of July, August, Man- September time. Well, no, mandatory hotel, mandatory hotel quarantine. If you want to have mandatory hotel quarantine from outside a common travel area, either outside the UK or outside the European Union, you can enforce that, right, for good public health reasons, if that's the case. You cannot do it. In a, in, in a common travel area, because the people, if you ban people from coming from France with, with a hotel quarantine, what will happen is airlines won't fly there, and the people who want to travel from France will just simply go to Holland and take a flight from Amsterdam. And all as you do is you don't achieve any public health um, benefit from it, and you cut off connectivity. And all as we're asking for, not just Ryanair, but all the other airlines and airports, as in the Aviation Task Force report, is to say when a milestone like today has been reached where the Paul Reed has said that the link has now been broken. Tell people when they can do that with absolute confidence. That isn't unreasonable to do, um, and they should do that uh, right. without any further haste so we can get people back to work. Look, thank you for speaking to us this morning on News Talk Breakfast. That is Eddie Wilson, CEO of Ryanair.